We're going to start this first, first game of the arena. My opponent plays d4. I'm going to play knight f6 here. Bishop f4. Why am I not hearing sounds? I hear no board sounds. I don't know. You guys hear the sounds or not? Or am I crazy? I'm not hearing any sounds. One second. Ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right, let's play c5 here. Go c3. So we're playing the London system here. That Now you guys should hear the board sounds, right? Now you hear the board sounds for sure. Um, You hear it now, right? I assume you hear it now. Yeah. Yeah, you hear it now, okay, because this board sounds are down at 11 for some reason. Okay, so we have a London system here. I'm going to play um, I'm gonna play as d5 move with bishop d6 and knight 6. Very standard setup here um, to try and trade off the pieces very, very quickly. Now, it's worth noting that London white tries to grip this e5 square. So what I'm going to do here is not go to e7. I'm going to go to c7 so I go guard both the pawn and the bishop and then play knight e7 and try to play e5 and, and take away white's ideas involving the square. What happened with my cam? Uh, this cam is okay. It's, it's not great, I get it, but it's decent, I think, or I hope it's decent at least. Um, is it not okay? Is it really bad? I mean, I know it's not great. It's not my cam that I have at home, but I mean, I'm, I'm on the road, obviously. So let's take the pawn here. It's Oh, there's a light flick. So is it the light? So if I turn the light away, is, it fl is there flickering now or not? Like, is it, is it flickering still? I don't know. Is it better or worse? I, I don't know. Oh, so if I have the light over me, it's it's worse. Okay, let's take the bishop here. Um, ah, so I, I can't have the light over me. Okay, good to know. Let's castle and play rook d8 and knight c6. It's better now. Okay, okay, cool. Cool. So, yeah, let's let's play uh, queen c7. Now, if I were to play e5 here, there's this very fancy trick with knight c4 to fork both the pawn and the queen. And so I'm going to move away and then play e5 so there's no nastiness here. And then I'll build my big black center with e5 and rook d8 here. Is that Hikaru looks strange, new hairstyle? No, it's just that I shaved off my beard, you guys, because it was annoying me. So let's bring out these knights. Now we've got a big black center. We've got these knights in the center. I can bring the rook out or the bishop. Let's go here, put our rooks on d8 and e8. And eventually I intend to push some p in the center of the board here. So, yeah. With the beard, you look better. Thank you. Appreciate it. But at the, at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, uh, if I have a, um, if I have the beard and it gets too long, it starts to really bother me. So, teach everyone. Let's go rook d8 and rook e8 here. Thanks so much to Danny Page for the five. Thank you to Andy Moab for the 27 months. Thank you so much to Camper One SS for the seven months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, yeah. Okay, we get Queenie 2. I'm going to go Rookie 8 here now. I've got the perfect setup. Rooks on the two open files, or not open files, but on the files with my central pawns. Knights are developed. Bishops develop. I think I'm going to play H6 here to create some Latanza for the king. He goes C4. So he's trying to strike in the center. Um, but now I'll play d4. Now you'll start to see why I put these rooks on these two files, because something is going to open up here in the center of the board. Do I like Qatar? I love it. It's great. I mean, I, I was last year in 2016, so it's been a while. Um, it's actually, for me, it's very, very similar to Abu Dhabi, another place that I was in quite recently. So um, I feel pretty good. It, it's a little bit too hot, perhaps, but I mean, that, of course, it, I mean, there's nothing that can be done about that, but overall, it's great. Can we get b3? I'm going to go knight d7, try to build a bastion with knight c5, and then push d3 here. So no, we'll go from there. Yeah, thoughts on human rights? Good one, you guys. Good one. Thank you for that. Mm. Let, let's 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 uh, let's let's take your. I, I, I guess what I would give you guys the basic basic generic saying is um, what, what there's there's a great saying in the uh, in in the, the good old book from from forever ago, which is something like what is it? Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Right? Isn't that the saying? Um, so that's that's all I'm going to say on the topic. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Let's play a five so I can go knight c five and build a bash in here, and then play d three next move. I've got a great bash, and white can't push the pawns on the queen side. Um, get rook b1. I'm gonna play g6 here. Stop knight f5 or knight g5. Get queen d2. Let's go king h7 maybe. So my position's pretty decent here. Uh, he goes a3, so he can play b4 next move. Uh, I mean f6. I think I'm gonna play here to create a chain of three. He goes b4. Let's go here knight c3. And now I've got an outpost for the knight. The pawns and c4 and b4 are very very weak. You know Miami pie for the tombs. How's the 400 playing fast on you? This is 5-0, right? Oh, wait, this is 3-0. I thought, oh, I meant to make this 5-0. Oh, I didn't mean to make this 3-0. That's my bad. That's why I was so slow. I thought this was 5-0, not 3-0. But anyway, all right. So I've got a great connect to 4 here. B4 is very weak. I can go bishop f7. I sax the rook. I'll take. I'll go here, stack the two rooks. Play for rook d1 here. Let's go rook d3. Hit the pawn on b4. Um, or play rook b3. Let's take. Now I've got the two towers, the double stack on the d5. It looks like a very, very pleasant position here. Let's go queen c4 and trade. Actually, the knight was hanging on at f3 as well, but it doesn't matter. So, we get takes. I'll play um, rook to d1 here. Try to trade off some rooks. Let's go here, hit the knight. Let's go here, hit the knight. Let's take, take. Let's go here. I'm just going to 
take and take. And now I'm simply up one pawn here. And now I just start pushing the peepos. Second mate, there we go. All right, let's keep going. Next game.